In this lecture, we'll see importance of Django, features of Django, its real world applications, and MVC architecture. Hi, welcome to the course, and I will be your guide in the whole course. We will learn about Django and its introduction. What is Django? Why do we use Django? And why Django is very popular in today's world. So, this kind of content will cover in this lecture and in this whole course, we'll learn about introduction of Django. What is Django framework? What are the models, forms, templates and Django's REST APIs? We'll also learn database with Django. And last but not the least, will provide or will continue with one project. So in this whole course, we'll not only understand the concepts of Django, but we'll also look how to implement that concepts in the real life using one project. So let's get started. First introduction to Django. What is Django? You might have question or you might not, but be with me. Django is a high level MVC style open source collection of libraries written in Python. Django is one of the most popular server side web frameworks out there. It is free and open source. You might have question why Django is most popular and it is written in Python. Yeah, like Python, Django emphasizes efficiency. And it allows you to reduce your code as much as possible. Django provides you as little as coding possible because it provides you automatic code generation and you have to just develop your logic and code it to develop your web application. Let's go further. What are the features of Django? Why Django is most widely used? The answer will be in this slide features of Django Django has so many features so many distinctive features just like Django is unbelievably fast the first main feature of Django as Django provides as Django was for the developers to help them and take application from concept to the completion as quickly as possible. The second distinctive feature of Django is it is highly secure. Django takes the security very seriously and not only that it provides or helps the developers to avoid the common mistakes. In addition to that Django provides widely scalable feature as because of this feature, there are so many technical giants which is used Django for their backend support. Furthermore, Django provides a free and rich API. When you install Django by a one command, which will be looking, which we will looking in the later on, Django provides its by default Python API when you install it and which is the GUI which provides Django for the developers and the users. Another main feature of Django is automatical data table creation. Migrate command is the main and distinctive feature of Django. Yes, you might have a question. What is this? Django provides automatic database table creation. When you write migrate command in command prompt, Django will create tables in database. The tables which we have declared, which you have declared in your models. You might have questions. What are models? Just be with me. We will cover this topic later on. And if the tables already exist, it updates in it and if it doesn't exist, 
the Django automatically creates that table and insert the data into it. This is the main and distinctive advantage and you can say that feature of Django. And last but not least, a dynamic interface generator. Django provides us a dynamic admin interface which is a distinctive again a distinctive feature of Django as there are so many frameworks in Python but the Django provides us a admin panel so because of this features there are so many technical giants in this world uses Django as their backend support just like here are some examples of technical giants the first one is Instagram Instagram in today's world we all know that Instagram is a very big company or we can say that a web application or mobile application Instagram uses Django for their backend support because of its widely scalable feature another usage of Django Mozilla we all know Mozilla is a web browser Mozilla uses Django and Mozilla is the worldwide web browser. So Mozilla uses Django because it's highly secure feature and it's widely scalable feature. Also Pinterest, you might have know about Pinterest or you might not, but Pinterest, Pinterest is the most widely searched entity on Google in 2017 so Pinterest is the most widely searched and it also used Django because it's distinctive features and what we can say that about NASA everyone know about NASA space research organization so NASA is also used Django so now you can say that Django is yes it's a most widely used python web framework service framework you can also say that so why why django is used in this so many technical giants used in so many technical giants organizations because it's provide mvc what is mvc let's have a look MVC that means model view controller what is model model a model a model is a model or representation of your data you can say that when we develop a web application or web app then we have to create some models or we have to create some structure of our code this is basically a model model does not provide any interface any user interface but yes it is a backend support of user interface yes how let's have a look in view what is view the view is what you see it's a presentation layer for your model as i said model gives us a backend support to the user interface it's a view view will provide users the backend support and also a user interface when we open a website by hitting any url just like www.google.com or www.facebook.com when we hit the url and hit the page what we see is the view of that website or web application so view provides the presentation layer for your model on your computer the view is what what you see in the browser for a web app or the UI for a des desktop app the view also provides an interface to collect user input just like when we log in into Facebook we have to log in we have to enter our username or email id and password and then after we logged in so that are basically collect user input so this is basically view which provides the 
user interface and last but not least controller the controller controls the flow of information between the model and view when model and view wants to associate then control comes into picture controller comes into picture controller provides us interface between model and view just have a look of its pictorial representation as there are model view and template or controller model model as i as i have said earlier model provides us the back end support of our web application view provides the user interface which we have seen in our browser which we will see in our browser or in our web app or a desktop app which is view and template or controller which provides the interface between model and view then we hit the url so that we can see view then we input we input the data into the web app it fetch data from the database if it matches then it allows us to go further this is how mvc work this is how model view controller works so this is the main feature of django because of this django is most widely used in today's world and it is the most widely used web framework of python now why django why we should use django you might have some question and if you don't just be with me go with the flow django two other big python frameworks is pyramid and flask pyramid and flask this is two big python frameworks this two frameworks offers more flexible and more lightweight approaches respectively more flexible and more lightweight approaches respectively like django pyramid is designed for larger scale projects but tends to emphasize flexibility more than django and by contrast flask is a micro framework best suited to less complicated projects so why to use django just have a look three things that set the django apart first structure second maturity and third community the django has unique structure the django has maturity and the wide community another major advantage of django is its documentation and support community the number of developers using django beats both flask and pyramid this is why django should be used so in this lecture we have seen importance of django features of django its real world application and mvc architecture in next lecture we'll see installation of virtual environment and django and we'll also see how to use virtual environment with django